everybody seems to be going mental over Cycles X, which is the upcoming version, complete rewrite of the Cycles render engine that we get today in uh, version 2.93, which is the version I've currently got open on the screen. Personally, I, I can't believe it's going to be this good. The developers have only been working on it for two months. And to suggest that it's going to be, you know, people are saying it obliterates things like Redshift and uh, Octane. These, these are the high-end GPU render engines that are just untouchable in terms of speed. And to suggest that the developers can beat that in only two months of development, well, surely that's ridiculous. So to test the render engines out, I'm going to use this model that I built a few years ago for a, a game engine. And if you want it, you can download it from my website at 3d-illusions.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description below as well. And to celebrate the channel breaking the 2,000 subscriber barrier today, I've put a 75% off discount in the description below. That'll be valid for the first 2,003 users because that's the number of subscribers I've got today. And I'll also include the advanced compositor setup for each render so that you can look at the color grading techniques that I used and you'll be able to see how I was able to speed up the rendering by five to 10 times compared to just using the denoiser in the render settings as well. Okay then, so let's get started with the test between Cycles and Cycles X. So first thing, I'm gonna choose a room. Uh, the previous renders, by the way, were all done in standard Cycles in, in Blender 2.93. I think we'll go with the I think we'll go with the kitchen. And let's go into the lighting workspace. Uh, and don't forget we're still in cycles 2.93. This is not cycles X yet. Let's just bring up the render settings. GPU mode. And I'm currently using a GTX 1070. So it's not the greatest. And uh, I've not got any denoising enabled in the viewport. So let's give that a quick try and we'll just see what the performance is like. So open image denoise, that's the one that's in Cycles X as well. So it's waiting for it to calculate now. So that's not bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty slow, but uh, one of Cycles X big strengths so I've heard is that the viewport remains responsive for moving around the camera even when the open image denoiser is working. So let's give that a quick try now. And I'm actually moving the mouse there and it's really slow to respond. And this is only in a small area. I mean it's a 4K monitor but it's still quite a, um, a small area of the screen, probably less than 1080p. Okay, so we can see then that it's quite difficult to move the viewport around if you've got the denoiser turned on in Blender 2.93 running standard cycles. I'm going to test that in Cycles X as I'm told that will fare a lot better. But firstly, I just wanted to run a few final renders so that we can find out how, just how much faster Cycles X is than standard cycles when it comes to final renders. So I'll just go over to the compositor workspace to do the render. So we'll first do a render with bucket mode, and then we'll do a render with progressive refine, just to make it fair on Cycles X, which only uses progressive refine. So let's start the first bucket render going. Okay, so that rendered in 11 minutes and 11 seconds. And while we're still in 2.93, let's set progressive render going. All right, so that finished rendering in a lot longer. It took nearly three times longer, so 29 minutes, 37, 17. And also, I've noticed we're getting a lot of fireflies, which presumably is due to progressive refine being incompatible with light clamping in the render settings. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll get Cycles X, and we'll go to uh, Blender, oh, Blender Download. We're going to choose to go into the experimental build. So go to the bottom, download Blender Experimental. It's not one of these. We've got to go into experimental branches. And if you scroll right down, we've got uh, Cycles X branch. So click on that and it'll ask you to save it somewhere. 
I've already downloaded it. Once you've downloaded it, just unzip it so you get this folder. And let me bring that folder up. Okay, so we've got this branch now. All you've got to do is double click on this. You don't need to install it or anything. And then we can open up the file. All right, so the first thing that I want to test is the viewport performance. So let's go into the render settings. We've got open image denoise turned on for the viewport. I'm leaving it turned off for the render uh, because I'd never use that in the render. I always do it uh, manually in the compositor. So let's just turn this on, see if it's any faster to respond. And let's change cameras again. So it did load a little bit quicker there. Camera, right, so we're in this one. Let's see if this responds any quicker. So straight away, that, that is actually responding. If you remember before, I was moving the mouse and it, it wasn't responding at all. I had to wait several seconds between uh, the denoiser kicking in. So if I leave that for a second, then we we'll see we're getting that. And now if I go back to the other camera, camera one, And that's working really quickly. We've got no option to use bucket rendering in this, so we don't need to turn on progressive. It should be on uh, automatically, I believe. It's, but they've probably taken the option away, in fact. Under performance. Yeah, so there's no progressive render anymore. And another big bonus for Cycles X is that the viewport can actually utilize the adaptive sampling feature. So that in itself will speed up the render performance in the viewport massively even if you've not got the denoiser running. So let's go over to the compositor. And we'll run a F12 again. I notice that the time seems to be moving a little bit sporadically. Obviously that's some a small bug that you had to iron out. I've noticed it no longer gives you the time remaining. Probably that's something they're going to add back in, hopefully. Because you need to know how long you've got to play on uh, Battlefield 1 in between doing some work. So this does seem to be rendering. I mean, it, it seems to be rendering at a, uh, quicker, but it also seems to be cleaning up faster as well. So I don't think I would even need as many samples as I used before. And if you remember, in the cycles in 2.93 in progressive mode we get an incredible amount of fireflies and that's obviously been resolved in this uh, in this version so this is actually quite incredible i mean look at look at the samples jumping up now before it 11 minutes in bucket rendering and 30 minutes in uh, progressive but if you look at this we're already well over a quarter of the way there probably I mean, I'll be honest with you, I would normally stop the render there. That's That's gone beyond what I would need to render because I can always clear that up in, uh, comp, in the comp. I'll let it run even though it's not necessary to run any further. Just so we can get the end time to compare to cycles in 2.93. So it's actually finished in 5 minutes and 23 seconds. Approximately twice as fast as bucket rendering in normal cycles. So it's going to be 6 times faster than progressive in uh, 2.93 that is absolutely in it's bonkers the amount of render time that this has cut down is just insane on an old gtx 1070 wow so this first look at cycles x is pretty impressive i've got to say especially when you consider that the developers have only been rewriting it from scratch for approximately two months so when it's finished in another i don't know four to between four and six months i think it's going to be something special, without a doubt. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you want to grab that full scene uh, with all the models included and all the textures and materials, then head over to my website, 3dillusions.co.uk, and uh, I'll see you next time.